Sell the Tape is brought to you by Corona Extra. Horn is nine years younger. He's three inches taller and is the naturally bigger man. But he is the underdog against the great Pac-Man. But that is a stadium filled with believers. Mark Nelson, our referee. Jeff and Randy, you had your instructions in the dressing room for the WBO welterweight title. You both know what I expect. A good, clean fight. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Nelson, a 25-year veteran rep from Minnesota. Thrilled you're with us for Manny Pacquiao, Jeff Horn, ringside Joe Tessitore, Teddy Atlas, and the man who once defeated Manny Pacquiao, former two-division world champion Timothy Bradley. Settle in, folks. So the first thing I notice is that Pacquiao's wet. He's got his sweat going. He's warmed up. He's ready to go. He's ready to come out hot, fast. Horn is dry. Maybe the pressure got to him. Maybe he didn't ready? warm up enough. But okay. Danger zone early round for Horn because he is not warmed up from what I can see. A tidal wave roar on the opening bell from 55,000 here. Can you imagine this young man, Horn, who's fought in front of about 1,500, 2,000, now stepping into this moment? Horn has been on the floor in two of his last three fights. Good chance it's going to be three of his last four. Good news, he has come off the floor to win. The bad news, he might have to do it again. Coming forward against Pacquiao, tried to land a downward driving right hand. But the punch you want to land against the southpaw is the right hand. And the punch that is the forte of Horn is his right hand. That's where his confidence is. Comes forward and scores against Pacquiao, although that right hand was blocked. Pacquiao laughs it off, shakes his head. Pacquiao right now is kind of filling him out right now. He can't get, he can't catch up with Horn right now. His rhythm is kind of kind of different for, for Pacquiao right now. A little odd. Well, to that point, the oddness to me is that to the credit of Horn, he's known as just a rough around the edges guy who's a little crude, which he is, but he's using his legs to give angles. He's given motion side to side to try to be as sophisticated, as smart, as hard to hit as possible. Body punched by Horn. He's, he's doing very well right now with his attack. The his he came in with a right uppercut, and now Pacquiao tries to attack back. Good action for a moment for the upset-minded Horn. Let's not forget, guys. No peace comes out. Pacquiao is a good counterpuncher. If Horn comes forward, he's going to walk into something like that, like that. Fast pace here with still a minute to go in round time, number one. Time. Not much of a feel them out. As Mark Nelson will gather that mouthpiece. Horn might want to be a sick and destroy missile. Pacquiao is a lot more than just that. He can set traps. And as I said, you just walk in, they take a step back, they set that trap, and they counter. But Horn took that shot very well, and I like his attack right now. He's having some success backing up Manny Pacquiao. I would describe him as a somewhat confident aggressor unexpectedly in round number one. The kind of success to me that Horn's having, it's kind of like that old joke when the guy jumped from the Empire State Building, and he's passing it 50 and 4, and he looks in the window and he says, how am I doing? So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far, so good for Jeff Horn. And you can hear the roar each and every time he makes the aggressive move. And now Pacquiao showing the awkward angles that he's been known through throughout his career. Caught him coming in a bit, did Pacquiao. It's the counter punch again. The power punch for the lefty, the southpaw. The left hand that he could turn his back into. Glenn Rushton, the trainer of Jeff Horn, said to him when he came over after that first round, good job, did what you want to do. You clearly won that round. Teddy, you agree? Yeah, I gave it to him. I gave it to Horn. Didn't land, uh, nobody landed any significant punches, a lot of clean punches. But the busier guy, the guy that controlled the pace, that round, Horn. 
Horn is extremely awkward. He's in your face one minute, moving around on angles, finding different spots to pop Manny Pacquiao. He's bagging him up at times. He's getting Manny Pacquiao lunging in right now. He is difficult. And Tim Bradley, usually a trait and characteristic we apply to Manny Pacquiao, as you know well. Missed with the straight right hand. Pacquiao, defensively sound, utilizing those legs. He is so gifted with quickness and speed. As we said in the first round, give credit so far early, but Horn using his legs to keep the punch of Pacquiao off balance. Trying to be smart, not just tough. Trying to show that he's a guy that has more than just will, that he can show some skill. Well, I can tell you this, he better not slow down. If he can keep this pace and keep this rhythm going, he'll have a good chance of beating Manny Pacquiao. Both Sorry. these fighters have been involved with head clashes. Horn, technical win and a technical draw from head clashes. Pacquiao has a technical win and a technical draw through the head clashes. Turn and exchange there as Horn had success to the belt line, and then Manny was quick to get on the attack. Comes in with a right hook to the body of his own, does Pacquiao. Horn comes back to the body. Right. Pacquiao has scar tissue oh, over hands. both those eyes, been okay. cut over watch both eyes. Matter of fact, in the last fight, the other guy, Horn, was caught over his right eye, and he was on the floor. Beautiful right hand from Horn, and he keeps moving to his. And there goes Pacquiao with a left of his own. Here's the problem with the beautiful movement in your thousand percent, Timmy. It's the kind of fight where Pacquiao can make mistakes. He can still win. Horn can't afford that. One mistake, night's over. Well, it's going to take chances to beat a guy like Manny Pacquiao. He has to take chances. To your point, and that's a beautiful point, he's not just trying to survive. Sometimes when you're in this moment, you're trying to survive and just last a moment. He's trying to win, and that's probably going to give Pacquiao a better chance to catch him. Good left hand to the belt line from the Pac-Man. Then he comes up top of the left hand, and right back at it is Horn, and Pacquiao returns fire. I'll tell you, these first two rounds with the willingness of Jeff Horn, and you guys just gave him credit for being risk reward. These first two rounds, there is more enjoyable fighting and action than everything we saw all night long against Floyd Mayweather. Good stuff here in Brisbane. End of two. Round three, and it starts with Jeff Horn on the attack again, trying to break and split that guard with a straight right hand as Manny covers up here. The right hand, as we talked about, the southpaw killer. That's what Horn's looking for. Pacquiao, his signature punch, his Sunday punch, as we illustrated in the fight plan, his straight left hand with the power, where he can turn into it, where he slips over to his right, makes you think something's coming there, bang! Hits you with the left hand. All legendary fighters, Joe, Tim, they all have a legendary, or they all have a signature punch. Right. Ali's with the jab, Joe Frazier's with the left hook, Mayweather was the shoulder roll where he pulls that left shoulder back. He carries you with the right hand. Pacquiao, straight left hand when he slips to his right. It seemed like at the end of the second round, it seemed like Horn lost his timing a bit, and Pacquiao was able to land some straight lefts on him. How about the adrenaline wearing off a little bit? How about that? You, you know, know you saw about the, that better than anybody. You saw the total punches moments ago through two. Remember, in that first round, Jeff Horn had an eight to six power advantage, but you saw how Pacquiao was able to come back. Round number three here, almost halfway through. Horn did something to part of your game plan. You said he'd be able to land the right hook. He's he just landed cut. on Pacquiao. I talked about the cuts that you might see right, see a little right now in the right corner of the right eye of Horn. He's been cut before with head clashes. I said it early. Matter of fact, both fighters have. Horn was cut in his last fight. He's got a little cut again. There's the blood. Corner of the right eye. That jab from Horn. 
Jones, Pacquiao, looking for opportunities, almost caught him coming in with that right hook. Again, and so every many. so often, Teddy, you see just the muscling of the bigger man, the physically, naturally bigger man in Jeff Horn. But you see the mistakes also. No doubt. Where he falls in, he comes in fat, you know. He should go and talk to a butcher and cut some of that fat off of those chops. But he's having success, Teddy. Not I see success, him having success. He's not landing clean. Now the only guy lately that landed really clean has been Manny. You're right. He's throwing punches, but he's not landing clean. His horn. And again, a lot of mistakes. A lot of being head heavy, top heavy, falling in. A lot of opportunities for Manny, the quicker man, to counter. And Manny's having a good finish here. As we come to the end of this round, we will monitor that right eye of Jeff Horn as the cut has opened up on the outside of that right eye. Great scene here in Brisbane. You can see right there Horn coming in with the shots, but as I was talking about, Timmy being blocked, not landing. You're right, he's keeping him defensive, trying to make sure that he keeps the respect to Pacquiao, but right now, there's the clean shots. Right. The left hand, the power hand for Pacquiao, and again, Pacquiao can do more things. Pacquiao can go get you, go in the trenches, but he can also box and he can set traps. He's doing more things right now than Horn. The only thing Horn can do right now is put pressure on and sometimes it's a little reckless. A little last minute adjusting of the guard by Glenn Rushton on Jeff Horn as they are out for round number four. Teddy has it two rounds to one for Pacquiao. Horn taking the first round, Pacquiao settling in and having success, especially in that last round. You know, it's great to be aggressive, but here's the key word. You got to put a word before that. And Timmy knows this better than anyone. Effective aggression. And Horn is not always effective with his aggression. Sometimes he does Pacquiao's work for him. He walks in careless, leaves himself wide open to counters. And Manny landed a fight high 20 punches in that third round. Here we go. I'm so surprised that Horn is taking Manny's best shot right now. So surprised. But don't forget what this real secret weapon of Manny is, what his real best shot is, the one you don't see. The one where he slips to his right that we talked about on the fight plan. Just he like did that. it right there. Yes. Did it right there. Yep. Just didn't land it. For you fans at home, watch that little subtle move of Pacquiao, a guy who's had a 22 and a half year career. Watch that little trick. He doesn't just throw a punch, he slip to his right and then throw the left hand. Pacquiao shook his head after Horn connected, fired back with a left of his own. Now they both come in with a strafing attack for a moment. Again, both guys coming in there with a head. Good body shot by Pacquiao. Hey, you just said it, Joe. Good body shot by Pacquiao. If I'm in that corner, of course, he's got a great trainer at Freddie Roach. I'm telling him, Manny, put some water in the basement or water. <laughs> you know, go downstairs to that belly because he wants to use his legs. Well, you know what? We're going to take those legs away from him. And there's no better way to take the legs away than put a little water in the basement. I would like to see Horn go down to the body to weaken Manny a little bit. Take some air out of those tires. Those tires are hard, and you said it earlier, Tim. They're keeping him in this fight right now, those wheels. He's a younger, he's a younger man. He can move around for, for 12 rounds, I hope. Nine years younger. Manny's starting to find his mark with that left hand. Horn better be careful. Blood coming from the right eye, but Horn unfazed as Pacquiao seemingly in control right now.
Japan, Thailand, and now Australia. And has Australia loved every ounce of it? Pacquiao looking for that right hook. Horn still staying right in front of him. Taking baby steps forward, trying to pull away from that front right hand. Good exchange that time, short left by Manny. Pacquiao has not scored a knockout in over seven and a half years. I thought coming into this fight that this would be the opportunity to end that drought for Pacquiao to get a knockout. Why? Well, to the credit of Horn, because he's gritty, he's willing, he's going to come forward, he's going to give you opportunities to hit him on the kitchen. Pacquiao's enjoying a 56 to 27 Great. connected Stop. punch advantage, okay. landing 33 percent of his punches thrown. Maddie gets the knockout. I think he's going to get it stepping backwards, setting up a trap. I don't and think free. he's going to get and it on free. the lead. Horn is not giving Pacquiao an inch in there. When he gets close, he's banging him on the side of the head. Oh, he's hitting him outside with the right hand occasionally. Stepping right to Pac. Just Everybody, took and he's a power shot shot. to the head. It was a left hand from Pacquiao. There was a little baby uppercut in the mix as well prior. There's a snapping jab from Horn. Almost got caught backing up. Tim, of his plan, Horn's plan is to get Pacquiao to hurt his hands by hitting him. I don't know if it's a good plan. I think his plan is to hurt Manny Pacquiao. You're right. That's the way he's fighting. But he's not going to do it coming with cold punches. You're not going to hit this guy, an 11-time world champion, coming with those kind of punches that you see him from left field. I'll tell you, he looked pretty sturdy right there. And that right hand is a good exchange again in the center of the ring. Maddie is zeroing in on that left hand. He's looking to land it clean. Great. He's just missing. Just missing. The punches of Pacquiao are either straight or short. The punches are on, they're round. That means there's an opening. And that's exactly what Pacquiao just filled. He just filled that hole with the left hand. What a sharp Nine. signature punch by Manny Pacquiao. Exclamation point on the fifth round with that left hand. Again, you see the aggression of Horn. And here it comes. But what do you also see? You see missed punches, you see wide punches, and you see holes. And that means Pacquiao sees that hole and those holes. And that means he's going to make a plan to do that, to fill those holes. And right now, as you see in those replays, Pacquiao playing the matador to the Please, bull of Horn. Wait, wait, back, back, back. Wait, seconds out. American referee Mark Nelson making sure everything's cleaned up before we are underway here in round number six. There are some, including some of the camp of Pacquiao, who felt they wouldn't see a sixth round. As more pressure to the inside and to that belt line from Jeff Horn as he's trying to smother Manny Pacquiao and act like the bigger, more physically imposing man. You said it, Joe, more pressure, but also more block punches. Like the old timers would say, the problem with Horn, he's game, he's willing, but he telegraphs those shots. <laughs> That's a butt. Time. Talk Time. about the head Flash of heads, and now from Accidental the hairline. Okay. So an accidental clash of heads, and now there is blood coming from the hairline of Manny Pacquiao. The good okay. news is nowhere accidental near butt. the eye. Bleed all you want, that's going to be fine. Butt, Manny. Ready to go? Okay, I'm going to. You want to say? This corner, okay? This is one of those that'll look messy, but unless it impairs the vision you of know, the fighter, it's no you know, that's a telling thing right there. Manny asked the doctor to look at it. Asked the referee to have the doctor 
Manny that is game. telling. Tiny that is really, yeah. really, really telling. Manny, the kid from the Philippines that grew up on the third floor, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, he's not even going to ask the referee to ask the doctor to look at it. He just started to say, get out of my way. But you get older. You make a lot of money. You feel your mortality. You start worrying a little bit about those things you didn't worry about when you were younger. <laughs> I agree with you 100%, Eddie. Listen, in the ring right now is a guy that Forbes magazine has put on their Celebrity 100 list. Time magazine has placed on the list of the world's most influential people. He's made a heck of a lot of money. So both men have been cut. Horn, the right eye, they look like they have that under control. And then the clash of heads here and the hairline of Pacquiao has blood streaming down the right side of his face. As and I... it feels like a fight that should have blood, doesn't it? A lot of action from the get-go. And we said right from the beginning, both these guys been involved in head clashes. Right. Might see red, we're seeing red. And again, we're seeing a concern from Pacquiao that at this point in his career is there that wasn't there earlier in his career. Many times this week we brought up the question in this stage in front of 55,000 would Jeff Horn ride the wave and become a better oh it's a good right hand right on cue become a better version of himself he just showed it moment of the fight for Jeff Horn I love Jeff Horn's demeanor. He's going for it, guys, tonight. I'm telling you, he's going to leave it all in the ring tonight. I no love matter his what the result is, give him credit for the way he's gone about his business here. Yeah, he came to win, not survive. Not just to say, I went the rounds. I went the distance. But he's walking into a lot of counter shots. Awesome stuff in round number six. Manny was cut. Horn came charging and landed the right hand. There's the right uppercut landed by Horn, splitting the guard. The one thing about it, you can be a legendary fighter or not, but when you come up, you put those gloves up like that, and you go into that pickable, put those earmuffs on, and you don't move your head. The guard can be split by the uppercut, and you also see the heads in close in there. Again, Horn comes in head first, right there, causes the head clash that caused the cut and the blood and the concern that Pacquiao now has. You know, I know this is gonna be a tough example, but I'm gonna throw it out there. My mentor, the great Customato, I think was the greatest boxing person in the, that I ever knew, he used to say that, just to use as an analogy, he grew up in a tough area in the South Bronx, and he used to say that when gangsters first come up, or came up, they do anything, they take any chances, they didn't care. But when they started making money, they got more careful, they cared. They worried a little bit. Same thing with fighters. Fighters early on, like a Pacquiao, they don't care. But they start making money 22 years into their career. All of a sudden, they get a cut. Guess what? They care a little bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, let's look at Teddy Atlas's scorecard. And Teddy, you've got it five rounds to one for Pacquiao. So you like the body of work in that sixth round for Pacquiao compared to the one right hand of Horn. I like the clean punches, Joe, yeah. I like one guy letting the clean punches, the other guy trying, but doing a lot of missing. Joe Tessitore, Teddy Atlas, and Timothy Bradley, who fought Manny Pacquiao three times, and one of the few men in the sport who can say they've defeated Manny Pacquiao. Great atmosphere here in Brisbane. And Jeff Horn, for many, they have already say he has exceeded expectations. He is making it a fight. Tim, what do you think about what we just saw? I saw something about 10 seconds ago, I didn't like it. Horn's the bigger guy, Joe's been talking about right on the button. He's the bigger guy, and that's one of his opportunities, be the bigger guy. Look, he gets inside, he gets tied up. Right. 
Well, that's just the experience of, of Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao don't want him to work in inside, so he's going to tie him up. But you know it takes two to tango. Two to tango, baby. Yeah. And he's allowed himself to be tied up. You're the bigger guy. You have to prepare in that gym that when you get those opportunities inside with this legendary fighter, guy that you're bigger than, you can't get tied up. How do you keep from being tied up? Pull your hands inside. Don't allow him to tie you up. That's how you... That's how you keep him getting tied up. And Horn's not doing that. He's allowing himself to be tied up. Stay here. Another, another head clash. Oh, wow. This is really messy. This is really ugly. And you see the bowed head of Manny. He's concerned. All right. They're bringing him over to the doctor. They're going to take a look at what happened with this clash. Horn's been a billy goat before. So now more blood with Pacquiao okay. after the recent clash in. here in round number seven. A little late to say watch the heads. These guys have been in there with their heads their whole career. There's a sharp right hand driven downward by Horn as both guys pick up the pace and Horn comes with another right hand. Now it goes to the body as Pacquiao covers up to block those punches. Tried to split the guard, Pacquiao threw a left of his own. Now he comes, the Pac-Man with the left hand, and then tying up. I like what I'm seeing from Horn. He's not intimidated at all. He see Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao bleeding. He's going for the kill now. He's 55,000 people like it too, Tim. That clash of heads in the seventh round, opening up a bad cut on the other side of the head of Manny Pacquiao. But that was the attention getter, what you saw that punch landed by Jeff Horn. Teddy, you gave the last round to Jeff Horn. We are in the eighth round. And we're going to have another break here to deal with the tape. You could see why these head clashes are happening. And you could see why I said from the beginning that good chance you're going to see head clashes. Both guys come forward head Thank first, especially Horn. His head hey, gets ahead of the rest of his body. You're supposed to bring your legs, not your head first. He brings his head first. He gets top heavy. Yes, he does. And that's dangerous for Pacquiao with the head. You see that. But it's also advantageous for Pacquiao because he's going to get more opportunities to nail a counter when Horn comes in reckless. I think there are a lot of people tonight and not to make too much of Jeff Horn because, Teddy, you have talked about he's fat with punches. Sometimes he's defensively flawed. He's top-heavy and coming in. But there are a lot of people tonight that probably already think fairly well and a lot better of Jeff Horn than they did just a few hours ago. He is earning him, himself a place at the table to have a future of cashing bigger checks in this business. I would like to see him with some of the other welterweights out here. If he comes Agreed. out of this fight without a... Without a victory tonight, I think he's I think he can beat with all of them. Let me tell you something. Fan friendly, good TV fighter, a clear contender. Yes, he is. A with 16 clear fights. contender. Break. I got it. No, 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 no. But that's not forget taking nothing away from his effort. That's not forget that he's fighting a 38 year old Pacquiao who's in the ring at 38 for the first time. That is a slip. No knockdown, says Mark Nelson. Again, if Pacquiao's going to score a significant punch, a game changer, it's going to be where Horn's coming forward. I don't think it's going to be with Manny coming forward. It's going to be with Horn coming forward like that. And Pacquiao's going to try to walk him into either a right hook or a straight left. This is good stuff as we're getting into deeper water. Final minute of round number eight. One guy's got a cut around his right eye. The other guy has suffered from head clashes with the hairline and the left eye. And each is coming forward time and time again. Timmy, you see the little traps that Manny's trying to set now? Every once in a while when Horn comes in, Manny goes back just a little bit. Horn comes in four inches, Manny will go back seven. Try to get him to reach a little bit. 
trying to get an opportunity to score a counter. Yeah, right but in that, in that process at times, Manny's getting hit with right hands in that process The punch that well. works against the lefty, the right hand. You can catch Manny stepping out, and you can catch him when he slips his head on the left side, like you said, with the right hand. Just a tidal wave of noise here in Brisbane. This crowd is absolutely loving it. And again, a little bit of a rush in, a little out of control. What happens? His legs get too square. He bumps into Manny. Down on the canvas. That's from being overly aggressive, a little out of control. And again, out of control, a little off balance. Flailing away, not landing, but opportunities for Pacquiao to score, but opportunities missed by Pacquiao right there to score. Maybe opportunities that when he was 36, 35, he doesn't miss, but at 38, did not pull the trigger when those openings were there on that replay we just saw. Wasting no time, Horn trying to pick up right where he left off. Round number nine, Pacquiao lunging in with a left hand. I am so impressed with Horn's conditioning. Interesting statement you make because we stood with him just 24 hours ago as there was concern when he stepped on the scale. He was cutting a little bit of weight in the final days before this fight. Of course, 147 pounds, no concern for Manny Pacquiao. He has breakfast before the weigh-in. Small guy, easy to make. Trying to time that left hand. If Horn did have trouble making weight, and we all heard that he did, he came in a pound heavier than he has his last 11 fights. That seems insignificant, but for the biggest fight of his career, he came in a pound heavy. It means he was having trouble. If he did, you're gonna see the results of it now in the late rounds. Right now, you're gonna see the results of it. He's gonna start to melt in the Australian sun. Manny Pacquiao seems like he has a sense of urgency right now. He's trying to step up the pace on Horn. And it looks like Horn is melting a little bit from yes. the pressure, maybe from making the weight, and from these clean shots that are starting to strike home. Pacquiao searching, hunting, seeking, and destroying a short right hand. Manny comes back. And there it is. He's starting to melt a little. He looks like a puddle in the summer that's evaporating right in front of you. You can barely hear yourself think ringside as blood is pouring from the right eye of Jeff Horn. And Pacquiao is on target, punch after punch. Can Horn hold up now? He has given so much. 45 seconds remain. Oh, Pacquiao was swinging for the fences here. This is where somebody needed to teach Horn to tie up. And he hasn't shown the ability to tie up. We talk about his bravery, his guts, but sometimes you gotta know your limitations and you gotta prepare for rainy weather. And you gotta prepare for tough, difficult weather like this. You gotta learn how to tie up. Horn doesn't know how to do that. The right side of Jeff Horn's face is an absolute mess. Swollen, blood soaked, blood streaming from the cut. Left hand after left hand after left wow. hand. Showing prime punching power here in round number nine. Oh my, is that good stuff. The referee just called the doctor up into the ring. He's gonna take a look. So here we go. What will Horn show? Will Pacquiao get after it again? I gave a 10-8 round that last round to Pacquiao. Now that's a big detriment to Horn. The plus, and people are gonna say Teddy Wins there's a plus. Probably isn't a plus, but the possible plus is that Pacquiao used a lot of energy that round. That's it, back on the jab. That's work, 
you got to be so impressed by Manny Pacquiao. Suffering two cuts over the head, blood dripping down in his eyes, still showing the resiliency of a champion, even at 38 years of age, that he's a legend in this game. And he's showing us why right now. Dominant ninth round from Manny Pacquiao. Teddy says 10-8 as Jeff Horn was hurt so badly. Pacquiao showed us one other thing, Tim, an open mouth. He expended a lot of energy that last round. And to your point, a 38-year-old expended a lot of energy that last round. But that's what makes him special. That's what makes him special. He's 38 and he's still in here competing with the youngest guys in the sport. Still on the power but a big talent, list. But a big talent difference. You're right, but a big talent difference. You talk about a step up in class. Horn went from the wading pool to the ocean tonight. Stop, stop. So what you're saying is 10 years ago, you think Manny Pacquiao would have got rid of Horn? Five Probably. years ago. Five years ago. Three okay. years ago. Fight, Jay, fight. Stop, stop. And he's showing again the results of all those punches he threw the last round. He's slowing down Pacquiao. And he's allowing Horn to survive. Remember, it's been since 2009 that Manny Pacquiao has closed the show. That is a long time without a knockout or stoppage. It is fun to watch, but can he get rid of Jeff Horn? Nearly had him gone after the last round. Jeff is taking some big shots. He is one tough cookie, though. And look at his face. They did a decent job on the cut, but the swelling underneath that right eye is fairly significant. The look of a weathered fighter after just nine and a half rounds. He said, show me something, did the referee Mark Nelson. He has shown us something here in this 10th round as Pacquiao shakes off that right hand. He's been allowed, taking nothing away from that for the horn. He's been allowed to show something because Pacquiao is tired. All week long, we talked about this potentially being like a rocky script. The unknown, upset-minded local kid who many dismissed. Well, remember what happened in Rocky 1. It was that kind of an effort, a losing effort, but one that earned respect. We got a lot of respect right now for Jeff Horn against an all-time great. At the end of nine, the referee wanted to stop the fight. Here he is still slugging into the 11th. You know, Timmy made a good point a couple rounds ago. He said that if I was with Paggy, I'd tell him to go to the body. And the reason for that is you got a big guy Naturally, heavier, bigger guy throughout his career, Horn, may be able to absorb the shots up top. But you start banging them downstairs, all of a sudden, that changes everything. They say you bang them to the body and the chin will fall. Exactly right. And if maybe if Pacquiao had invested a little bit in some body work, perhaps Horn's not still there. Well, I think... Because when a guy's got a good chin, you go test his body. There was a left hand that landed moments ago from Pac-Man. Again, the counter shots, as I said earlier, Pacquiao's going to score because of Horn walking into shots. Horn was going to do some of his work for him. Come in a little fat, a little reckless, and give opportunities for Pacquiao to counter. And that's what he's doing right now. Horn's getting kind of dirty in there against Manny Pacquiao. Not showing Manny Pacquiao any kind of respect. Again, see Manny looking to take that half step back. Get your scissors. Entice Horn to come forward and create an opening right there. Again, a little step back. Looking to create an opening for a counter where Manny can fill the hole. Stop, Manny. Time. Time. Over here. You heard Mark Nelson say, get your scissors ready. They're going to tend to the tape job on that right glove again. Time in. Final 
final minute here of this 11th round. The boys in Vegas figured we wouldn't see an 11th round if you looked at that over under. Blood streaming down from that right eye since the third round on has Jeff Horn. Of course, Pacquiao had to overcome clashes that affected him as well. Gameness from Horn, but also recklessness as he comes in. His corner gave him the chance to fight on. Left hand again, a little bit of reach there from Pacquiao. Horn took a little something off that punch by pulling out. Didn't quite caught with the blood force. Got caught coming out there. Same thing. Aggression from Horn. There's a straight right hand, the punch you want to use with the southpaw. He split the guard Ladies that time. Right down the middle. The straight. Is better than round, and the straight landed that time for Horn. 12th and final round. Crowd on their feet in appreciation for what the young warrior and the old all time great have given them here in Brisbane. Teddy Atlas's scorecard seven rounds to four, Manny Pacquiao, a 10 8 ninth round. Subsequent to that, referee Mark Nelson nearly stopped this fight. He said, You got to show me something. And that's exactly what Horn has done. What does he have left here in the 12th round? And can the Pac Man? close the show and finally get a knockout it would be his first since 09. If Horn's gonna win this fight he needs to land the big shot and that big shot would have to come in the form I would think of a right hand. Once again, with all the sweat, water, perspiration, blood, that tape is an issue on that right glove. Let me tell you something, Joe, Tim. We talked about the signature punch of Matty, where he slipped to his right, made you think he's doing something there, hit you with the left hand. Horn has a little trick. He slips to his left, and then he throws the right hand. He's gonna have to land that in the next minute and 40 seconds. Good exchange against the ropes. Last 90 seconds of this fight. Horn still looking for opportunities. Pacquiao still trying to meet him as he comes forward. There's a right hand that tried to split the guard. I think this fight is closer than what we think, honestly. How do you see it, Timmy? It's a close fight. I don't know. It's a real close fight. I tell you that. Much. I think you could justify it being that way, but I think that ninth round to Teddy's point was a dominating effort, and you could write an eight down if you wanted to. Do you think it's that close, Tim, or are you just talking like a fighter that knows how fickle, how scary judges' pencils can be on that paper? I'm saying that Horn put up a good enough fight and a close enough fight and a great enough effort and we are in Argentina. I gotta tell you something, Timmy. Oh, oh, Australia. Say, Australia, excuse me. I'm sorry I, about I that. Gotta tell you something. You. I gotta tell you something, Timmy. No matter what the judges come back with, give credit to Jeff Horn. He has come to fight. There was a willingness and purpose to him tonight, and the way he was composed after that beat down in the ninth round has this place roaring. Final 10 seconds to the bell, an all-time legend and an upset-minded local. How about it, folks? Manny Pacquiao, he wanted to give a little something to the U.S. fight fans for free. Jeff Horn gave as much as he possibly could. The battle in Brisbane exceeded expectations. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the scorecards, a round of applause for a great display of guts.
and courage in this ring here in Brisbane, Australia tonight for Jeff Horn and Manny Pacquiao. Here are the score totals. Well, let's go roll down, scores at 117 to 111. Chris Flores scores at 115 to 113. Same score from Roman Caron, 115 to 113. All three scores go to the winner by unanimous decision. And no! Judges always see things differently. Sometimes simple aggression, desire, and will can be masked for other things. 115, 113, razor thin twice. 117, 111 is unconsciousable. And Manny Pacquiao has been defeated by a decision when he almost had the fight won by TKO after nine.